Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got this circle with radius 5 that is inscribed in the square as you can see in this figure. And moreover, we got these three identical squares in the corner. And now we are going to calculate the area of this shaded red square. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to call this center C and these points of tangency, I'm going to call this point A and this point of tangency, I'm going to call point B. And now in our very first step, let's go ahead and connect these points A, C and B, C. Let me just go ahead and connect uh, these points A, C and then point B, C. And here's our much nicer looking diagram and moreover this AC and BC are our radii and the radius is 5 as you can see and furthermore this radius and these tangents are perpendicular to each other according to the tangent to a circle theorem the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees that means they are perpendicular in this next step we are going to focus on this square n a c b and here's the definition of a square all sides have equal lengths and every interior angle is a right angle that means 90 degrees so therefore we conclude that this side is same as this side n a which is going to be 5 so therefore the side length n a turns out to be 5 and in this next step let's focus on this small red square over here so let's suppose that the side length of this red square is x units then all sides going to be x as well since it is a square and since all these three tiny squares are identical so this side length is also going to be x so the length of this segment mn turns out to be 2x and this whole Thing is 5 and a is 5 so therefore this m a is going to be simply 5 minus 2 x so thus the length of this line segment m a turns out to be 5 minus 2 x now in this next step we are going to draw a right triangle c d e as you can see over here I'm going to drop this perpendicular and then I'm going to connect this C and E. So we got a right triangle C, D, E. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's focus on this rectangle M, A, D, E. And here's the definition of rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel. That means this length and this length is going to be same and they are parallel as well. So therefore, the length of this line segment ED turns out to be 5 minus 2x as well and we know that this side length this ad is x units because this is a this side is x so this side is going to be x as well since they are equal in length so then this side cd is going to be simply 5 minus x so therefore cd turns out to be equal to 5 minus x and moreover this ce is the radius so this ce is going to be simply 5 
now in this next step let's focus on this triangle c d e and since this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square so in our this right triangle the longest leg is c i'm gonna call this longest leg as c and this a horizontal side and this vertical side b and here's our pythagorean formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a in our case is 5 minus x square so let me go ahead and fill in the blanks 5 minus x and then square plus b in our case is 5 minus 2x and then square equal to c in our case is 5 so it's going to become 5 square now let's go ahead and expand these binomials these ones by using this formula a minus b square so look go ahead and take care of that thing that's going to give us 25 minus 10x plus x square and about this next one is going to be 25 minus 20x plus 4x square and the right hand side 5 square is simply 25 and we can see this 25 on the left hand side and 25 on the right hand side they cancel each other out let's combine the like terms on the left hand side that's going to give us 5x square minus 30x plus 25 equal to 0 now since this equation is divisible by 5 so let me go ahead and divide by 5 across the board to make things a lot more simpler so that is going to give us x square minus 6x plus 5 equal to 0 and now we got this quadratic equation and we are going to solve by factoring technique so let's go ahead and put two parentheses and set it equal to zero and we are going to have x minus five and x minus one and now we can split this one up we can separate them i can write x minus five equal to zero our first factor and the second factor is x minus one equal to zero so that means we got two solutions first one is x equal to 5 and the second one is x equal to positive 1 so let me go ahead and pick this first value x equal to 5 if we pick x equal to 5 and we can see over here this 5 minus 2x is going to become simply 5 minus 2 times 5 is going to become 10 so that is going to give us negative 5 and we know that the length or the distance cannot be negative so that means this 5 x equal to 5 is a bad choice so we are going to reject that one so this value is x equal to 5 is rejected so thus x equal to 1 is the value that we are going to accept so therefore we conclude that x equal to 1 is our only solution and here's our final step so thus the side length of this red square turns out to be 1 and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square so in our case the side length is 1 so that area is going to be simply 1 square so area a turns out to be 1 so thus the area of the red square turns out to be a 1 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye